I've tried every Mac cleaner app you can find on the internet. And today I'm going to install four different cleaning apps on my MacBook so you can see which one finds the most junk. It turns out that the first Mac cleaning software was created back in 2008 by a student in Kiev, Ukraine. He wrote the software out of love to clean out his student MacBook as a means to clear out file clutter and cache files. That app later became known as Clean My Mac and is now used by 20 million users worldwide. We'll get back to that later, but before before we continue, make sure you like and subscribe on this video. The first app that we're going to talk about today is Disk Doctor. This app is clean and simple to use. It effectively removes various unnecessary files, including application caches, temporary files, message attachments, app leftovers, and incomplete downloads, helping to free up significant disk space. It's so straightforward to use, and it's only $2.99, so it is the most affordable out of the list that we're going to be talking about today. Disk Doctor is a little bit limited in its features because it primarily focuses on cleaning and lacks advanced system optimization tools. And it doesn't offer features like privacy protection and malware removal. Next one up is Daisy Disk. This app provides an interactive color-coded map of your disk usage, making it easy to identify large files and folders consuming space. And this app is really quick in scanning your disk, allowing for efficient space management. Because it provides such a colorful map of your whole entire hard drive in the user interface, you could just click on a section that you want to delete, drag and drop it in the delete queue, and that's that. A couple things I want to point out though is that Daisy Disk doesn't have an automatic junk identification, so you see all your files, but it doesn't really show you what is safe to delete. So it completely leaves it up to you to manually decide what is good to keep and what is good to throw away. Plus, it doesn't really have any system cleaning tools or additional optimization tools beyond disk analysis. The next one up is CCleaner. CCleaner removes junk files, clears browser histories, and uninstalls unwanted applications, and contributes to improved system performance. It does include tools to manage cookies and browsing data, which enhances user privacy. This app is $29.95 a year, which may be a little bit less appealing because some software are just one-time purchases like the first two that we talked about. So if this annual fee is a little bit bothersome, that might be something that you want to pay attention to. And it could have more system optimization features as well. There's kind of a widespread myth that Apple doesn't really recommend Mac cleaning software, but I can easily debunk that with this quote right here on Apple's website that says, Clean My Mac can weed out gigabytes of files you don't need, reduce the number of background processes, scan for malware, and much more. The new smart care feature performs the most popular optimization tasks at once. I mean, that is just resounding proof that Apple recommends the last software on our list, which is Clean My Mac. Clean My Mac is a one-stop shop that can give you everything that you would need for your Mac. It has features to help you easily clean up junk off of your system. It'll protect you from malware. It'll optimize performance on your computer. It'll help you uninstall, update, or remove old application leftovers. And of course, it can help you sort through massive piles of clutter on your computer. And the thing I love most about Clean My Mac is that everything is just a click of the button and it could just do everything for you. And it's also $39.95 a year, but with all these features, I would say that it's very worth it. And out of all the software I mentioned today, Clean My Mac was the one that was able to find the most junk on my computer and clean it out. So out of this list, which one was your favorite Mac cleaner? And if we didn't mention one that you use, please comment down below. And before we go, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below for more Pro Mac tips.